how's it going? If you follow me on Instagram at the crazy rave chick, you might already know by now that I am pregnant. I'm actually in my fifth month of pregnancy right now, which is crazy. That means I am 20 weeks and that means that I am halfway to meeting my baby, which is like totally insane to me. It's cooking a little bit too fast for my liking. Um, and if you could just slow down, that would be really great. So when I found out that I was pregnant, I knew that I wanted to make some videos about what pregnancy is really like um, by each trimester. So this video is going to be about what the first trimester is actually like. There are so many different like ailments and pains and things that pop up throughout pregnancy that you really don't hear about unless you're pregnant and going through it. I know as things would pop up, I would Google and be like, okay, why is this thing hurting and pregnancy? And it would pop up and tell me why, you know, whatever was happening to me was happening to me. But prior to getting pregnant, the only thing I really ever heard about was having morning sickness. Um, and I didn't know all the other things that would be going on throughout my pregnancy. So while pregnancy is an absolutely amazing journey, um, there's a lot of things that happen and in between getting pregnant and having the baby. Um, and I really wanted to make this video to possibly help somebody else out so that you can be prepared when you're going into it. So I just wanted to backtrack a little bit um, to tell my story of getting pregnant, how I found out, how I told Curtis and all of those fun things. Pretty much ever since um, me and Curtis started dating, we knew that we were going to want to get married and have kids. Um, that was always in the plan for us. So um, when he proposed to me in November of 2017, I originally wanted a wedding date of September, I think 2019. Um, I ended up changing that for a couple reasons. Number one was the fact that we wanted to have kids and we wanted to have them sooner than later. So a September date would push us two years out. And then you have to think you don't necessarily get pregnant right away. That could push it even further out. And then it takes nine months to have a baby. So like all of those things, it just would have been too far away to have a September wedding date. So I knew that I wanted to move that date a little further up, but I didn't get confirmation of that really until I spoke to a medium. And he ended up telling me that my great grandmother said that a September wedding date was not a good idea and that she thought it would be better in the spring. So that was kind of like my confirmation that, okay, like we want to have kids. We want to have them sooner than later. September is probably not a good idea. Anyways, we live in Florida. It's right in the middle of um, hurricane season. Even though I did really want to get married on my great grandparents anniversary, it just seemed like that wasn't going to be the right, the right idea for us um, at that time. So I had that conversation with the medium February of 2018. Um, so by the end of March, I actually decided that I wanted to change the date to April 4th. For us, it just made sense. Um, for my family, fours have always been like our favorite number, it always been my favorite number. So four, four just seemed perfect. It was on the day that I wanted and it worked for Curtis too. So that's what we decided to go with and we moved up our wedding all the way to April from September so that we could get this whole baby process going faster. So we got married on April 4th and then we had our honeymoon planned for May because we were going to Las Vegas to EDC. So I knew that I wasn't going to want to stop my birth control until um, that point because I'm human and I wanted to have fun on my honeymoon. I didn't want to be pregnant. So we waited until then and then pretty much like that week is when I decided to um, get off of my birth control and stop taking it. I had been on it for about nine years and, um, you know, I never really took the pill the right way, which I don't recommend, um, and didn't get pregnant. So I just kind of figured if I stopped taking it that week, um, that we were there that I wasn't going to be pregnant like that week and it wouldn't affect me having fun out in Vegas. I actually had spoken about this with my doctor and she told me like as soon as I stopped my pill um, I could potentially get pregnant that same month I think she said or right away whatever it was and like I don't know for some reason in my head I just always saw people struggling and taking years to have kids and doing IVF and I just really had it in my head for whatever reason that this was going to take um 
a long time or it could. And I actually put that in Curtis's head, which I don't really believe in because I try to think positively most of the time, but I put it in his head that this could take a long time. So like, don't be worried if it does, if it doesn't happen right away. But <laughs> only two months-ish later, um, I actually did find out that I was pregnant. So I stopped taking my birth control in May and by July 12th, I actually had my last period. Um, so I ended up getting pregnant somewhere in the end of July because that's how the ovulation dates would have fallen. Shout out to my best friend for being a nurse and letting me know um, about when I was gonna ovulate. Um, I listened to her and that worked, I guess. So when August came around and I was supposed to be um, getting my period again, I think I was either right when I was supposed to be getting my period or it was a couple days later. And I was actually supposed to be going to get drinks with my mom. So I thought, okay, like, let me take a pregnancy test just to make sure. And I've taken pregnancy tests in the past because like I said, I'm not gonna recommend this, but I didn't really take my birth control right. I would skip days like every single month. And um, just sometimes if I felt like, okay, I actually might be pregnant, I would take a pregnancy test. And even leading up to getting pregnant, like in the month of June, I took a pregnancy test just to make sure that I wasn't pregnant around my birthday because I also wanted to go have some fun and go to brunch. Um, so I've taken pregnancy tests before. And when I decided to take this test, I, I don't know, like I was hoping that I was pregnant, but I wasn't really expecting to be pregnant. So when I did the test and I saw that line, I was like, holy shit. So pretty much I took the test, I sat there, I let you know the time go by that you're like the couple minutes. I flipped the test over and there's a line there. And I'm like, that is an effing line. Like, oh my gosh, it's really there. It's really happening. Like I couldn't believe it. Um, I actually stood in the mirror and I looked at myself like, is there a baby inside of me right now? Like I literally said that out loud because I was in so much shock. Like I could not believe that it really happened that fast. So Curtis was at work at the time and he was closing and I knew he was gonna be home late and I didn't wanna freak him out while he was at work. Um, and I really didn't wanna tell him over text message. So I waited to tell him and I was actually still like in shock. And I mean, I was like pretty sure that it was like I really was pregnant, but I was also thinking, okay, I took the test at night, which you're supposed to take them in the morning. It's when I think your HCG levels, the hormone that tells you that you're pregnant, um, are the highest in the morning, like your first pee when you wake up. So I was kind of like, okay, maybe it's a false positive. I don't want to get my hopes up too much yet. So I waited to the morning to um, tell Curtis. I knew he would be sleeping because he worked late. So I woke up. I peed in a cup because like I said, that's like your best pee to take a pregnancy test. And then I ran to Walmart and got a new box of um, pregnancy tests. They come three in a box. So I came home and I took them all in, in to test them. Um, and literally all of them had a line. And it was actually shocking because the line was a little bit fainter than the one from at night, which kind of was like telling me that the one at night was like for real, for real, like I'm really pregnant because you're supposed to have better lines in the morning when you take the pregnancy test. So I was like, okay, now I have four pregnancy tests that are saying positive. Like I think I can tell Curtis and I don't know, I always imagined that it would be so much cuter and that I would make a present and he would have something to open. And I don't know, I had all these dreams and hopes and Pinterest boards of how I would actually tell him that I'm pregnant, but didn't really work out that way. So I ended up just leaving the pregnancy test at the bottom of the stairs. Um, he had heard me downstairs and I think he might've woken up in between me going to Walmart and coming home. So he was just checking on me to make sure I was okay and texted me and I was just like, okay, come downstairs, I have to show you something. And he walked downstairs and found the pregnancy test um, at the bottom. And you know, it just really wasn't the viral moment I was hoping for, but here it is. You serious? <laughs> I can't see anything. That's there. It's like light though. It's there. What are your period? I didn't have my period.
You said you're PMSing. I was. You want to see a doctor? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why are you recording me? So like I said, that was not the moment that was going to get us to Ellen or um, going viral or anything like that. But he just was really as shocked as I was um, and really couldn't believe that it actually said pregnant because like I said, I told him, you know, this really could take three months, six months, a year. Like it really, it can happen. So he had that, I think, in his head too. So after just a couple of months and it, it was pregnant, he was just as surprised as I was. So at the point of finding out that I was pregnant, um, obviously I'm in my first trimester. And according to how they calculate um, your due date, I was probably about, I think, four weeks to five weeks pregnant when I found out. So when you're so newly pregnant, you don't really have too many pregnancy symptoms. They kind of just feel like um, regular PMS symptoms. The one thing that kind of made me think, okay, this might really be happening is how emotional I uh, got, I think like the week or so leading up to taking the test. My little brother was going into his senior year in August when I found out that I was pregnant and my mom had sent me a picture of his last first day of school picture and I just literally bawled my eyes out. I was on the way to work. I cried the whole way driving to work. I cried at work. Every time I thought about the picture, I cried. Every time I saw the picture, I cried. I was like, okay, like, I mean, I'm a crier. Um, I'm very emotional anyways, but this was like extra emotional. I was like, maybe I'm pregnant, but I didn't really like say that to anybody, but I thought, okay, this is like, like overload of crying. So, um, that is the first symptom that I believe that I had. And that is definitely a symptom of pregnancy in your first trimester. Being over emotional is one of those pregnancy symptoms that I've always heard about. You always hear about pregnant women saying that they can cry over the littlest things, but it's like so true. Like I literally can break down crying, you know, in the first trimester, even now, um, pretty much over anything. Um, but like anytime we would watch like a cute movie, a sad movie, I would be bawling my eyes out. And, and once like the weird thing is once I start crying, I can't stop crying. Like nothing can make me stop crying. It takes like forever. So that is definitely one symptom to um, know about in your first trimester. Morning sickness is another pregnancy symptom in your first trimester that everybody always hears about. It does, they say it, it happens it's supposed to happen only in your first trimester and it can go as far as I believe like 18 weeks. Some really unlucky women have it the entire pregnancy. I like, I can't even imagine and feel so bad for people who have to deal with it for that long. And usually when it's that kind of morning sickness, um, it's the throwing up kind and it's really severe. I luckily did not throw up ever. Um, I really hate throwing up. So I'm so like, thankful that I did not have that kind of morning sickness, but I did get really nauseous. And I think it started like, as soon as I found out I was pregnant, I started getting nauseous. For me, it didn't only happen in the morning. It happened in the morning. It happened at night. It happened when I was at work. It just, it could happen at any moment and it could last as long as it really wanted to. The only way that I can describe um, pregnancy nausea uh, slash morning sickness is it feels like when you are really, really starving and you haven't eaten all day, like say 10 hours, you haven't eaten and you're so starving and then just like multiply that by a thousand, million, billion. <laughs> so at first, of course, I didn't realize that I was nauseous. I thought that I just was really hungry. So sometimes I would eat and as long as I kept myself full, I would not feel this nausea. But other times I was so sick that I just, the thought of eating anything, like made me just, uh, if it just felt terrible. So I just felt that like queasiness and I just had to lay down and it just, it really just felt terrible and it didn't go away. So over time I picked up on the, the morning sickness, the nausea. Um, I would feel like I was going to go eat and then I would think about it and I'm like, are you really hungry? Like picture yourself eating right now. And if I felt like I was going to be sick, I would either eat a little bit of something if I felt like I could, or I just knew that this, that was this time and I would need to lay down and pretty much it's all you can do is just rest and let it pass. Um, 
I didn't really find anything that particularly helped with the nausea. I did keep crackers next to my bed. So like when I woke up, I would eat some crackers, drink some water. Um, that way I never felt like hungry right in the morning. As soon as I let myself feel hungry, like the nausea would just overcome me and there was no going back from then. Another pregnancy symptom in your first trimester is having headaches and it kind of sucks because there's really nothing you can take for them. Um, they say you are allowed to take Tylenol, but for me that doesn't really help. Um, I'm used to taking like Excedrin migraine or something stronger like naproxen and that's not really recommended. So also I would really try like not to take the medicine. So I just had to pretty much endure these headaches and wasn't really that fun but you know you're growing a human and it happens some other kind of like pretty normal pregnancy symptoms I was moody of course um, your hormones are going absolutely insane um, your boobs start hurting which that's like kind of like a, a period symptom it's the same thing in your first trimester of pregnancy I never really experienced that um, with my regular period so this was new for me I would literally feel my boobs hurting through my shirt. Like they were so sore, um, which wasn't that great. Um, also I was starving like 24 seven, like literally as soon as I would eat, I would be starving again. Um, and it's like obvious so many things are happening. You're growing a human, like you're gonna wanna eat. That's, that's like kind of obvious, I feel like. One symptom I had never heard of before um, is that you get, can get, sciatica pain. Um, I don't think everybody gets that in their first trimester, but it's like has something to do with your hip shifting and it can pinch a nerve or something like that. Um, I had really not ever gone to the gym. Um, like in, when I finding out that I was pregnant, um, I just was like way too tired. Also a pregnancy symptom. You're like just exhausted. Like I would wake up and I could not keep my eyes open. I was so freaking tired. Um, so I really didn't make my way to the gym much and all of a sudden I just felt like something in my butt hurting so bad and that kind of pain typically would be like if I had done squats and you know it's it's back in your glutes and I would feel it on my left side I would feel it on my right side I would feel it in both and I'm like man like I feel like I did a bunch of squats like what is this feeling so I told my grandma about it because <laughs> she's a nurse and I'm like why is this pain hurting me and she was like, it's probably your sciatica. So I had never heard about um, sciatica pain before. I feel like I may have heard that word in passing, but I did never like knew what it was. There is a nerve that runs up and down like your back to your leg, I guess, on both sides. Um, I might not be remembering this correctly, but there's something there and it can just get pinched. You know like your hips are widening and stuff because you're getting ready to give birth and you know just it can just start hurting um i think the first trimester is kind of early for that to start happening but it definitely happened for me um and it just it would shift sometimes it'd be left sometimes it'd be right sometimes it'd be both at the same time but when i would tweak it like if i would sit on it the wrong way or stand up the wrong way like oh my goodness it hurts so bad there are some exercises that you can do. Um, it kind of relieved the pain like at the time, but it didn't fully ever make it really go away. It kind of just went away on its own. Like right now in my second trimester, I don't really get that that often, which is great. Um, but I definitely had it in the first trimester. And like I said, I would do those exercises. Like I would try to do them every day. Sometimes I would just do them like sitting. You can do them. You can have you know someone help you do the exercises as well. I would try to do them, especially when it hurt really, really bad and it would relieve that pain. So everybody told me that morning sickness would go away around 12 weeks and literally like clockwork, as soon as the 12 week mark hit, I stopped getting nauseous, which was amazing because it was, oh, it was really hard to deal with. Um, so literally 12 weeks hit, the nausea stopped. At that time, I kind of like started thinking maybe my um, prenatal vitamin was at like causing some of the nausea too so i started taking that at night um it can actually make you really nauseous so if you're very sensitive to medicine i would take that prenatal vitamin at night that way during the time that you would get nauseous from it is when you're sleeping and you wouldn't really feel it um i did start to experience that nausea again in the second trimester but i'll talk about that in my next video so those are really all the symptoms that i experienced during my first trimester um 
of course, I started to gain some weight. I gained between seven and 10 pounds, I think, um, during that first trimester. My pants did start not fitting me very quickly. Um, I did go and buy like, I think five or six dresses. So I had something to wear to work that was really easy for me and comfortable because it really does start getting uncomfortable having like your waistband right like where your belly is that's growing. So I did have to start buying clothes right in my first trimester. Um, yeah, but I didn't gain too much weight, I don't think. Um, you're only supposed to gain about 35 pounds or less throughout the entire thing. So I was pretty much on track for that, um, in my opinion. My doctor never mentioned anything, so I think it was all fine, like the weight that I was gaining. Um, but all in all, I had a pretty easy first trimester. I could have had it definitely way worse, so I'm really blessed and thankful. And um, I hope that this video helped a little bit so that you can know what you really experienced in the first trimester. Oh, something else that I learned um, for your first trimester and really the entire length of your pregnancy is that you're not supposed to take a hot bath. Um, I never really thought about the fact that you have a human in your stomach and it's probably not kosher to have hot, hot water sitting on um, where the baby is growing and it actually can be pretty detrimental to the baby. Um, I didn't realize that. Luckily, I never submerged my stomach in hot, hot, hot water, but um, I had thought, okay, I'm having so much pain right now, like maybe I should get in a hot tub. And that's when I started like researching about it and figuring out that that is a big no-no. Um, some people say that you can still take like a bath if it's lukewarm-ish water, but that's not really that fun. So personally for me, I'm gonna stay out of the bath and out of the hot tub, but that is just something to know because I would have, or I wouldn't have thought of it because I didn't think of it <laughs> until it all started happening. So that's just another thing to keep in mind. Um, as I continue to go through this um, pregnancy experience, I'm going to be creating more videos. I'm going to be creating second trimester, what that's really like, what the third trimester is really like, what labor is really like, what birth is really like, what afterbirth is really like. I'm going to be doing all of that because I really want to hopefully help somebody um, who hasn't really researched and just would like to know exactly what you're getting yourself into before you get yourself into it. So if you like this video, you know, please hit the subscribe button. Um, you can follow me on Instagram right now. My personal Instagram account is at the crazy rave chick. I'm also going to be starting a motherhood ish, like lifestyle, um, new mom Instagram account, um, called at hearts run wild, which is like my last name, H A R T. Um, so if you want to follow me on there and see what the motherhood experience is like as a new mom, um, you can go ahead and follow me there. So I will see you guys for the next video about what the second trimester is really like. See ya!